how to price your social media marketing. So let's say you are someone and you have a customer and you need to provide them a price list of the things that you are doing in order to provide them certain kind of services. And hopefully those services help solve their problem. But you're asking yourself, okay, what kind of price can I give those people? So I'm going to give some ideas to you so you can um, see how you can use those ideas in order to get a correct price for your product or services. Okay. The most obvious one is pay per hour. You can ask a price and they pay you per hour. Most time people don't, um, don't like that because they do not know how much power, um, hour you're going you're gonna to spend on those things and technically they don't have control over that. Because they don't have control over that, the chances are they are not going to do that. So price per hour, you can do that and you can increase your price, for example, like $25 per hour, $40 per hour. Depends. Depends what you do for them. And the thing is, most people don't like that. Like I said, they don't have control over that. Another thing what you can do is you can create packages. When you create packages, you can offer those services. But the problem with packages is that when you have a package, that doesn't mean the customer needs everything that's in the package. And that's the problem. And what you can do is you can create two packages and then one of custom. And you create a custom and then you let them pay for that. Say package one costs this much, package two costs this much, so the basic and then the normal what everybody needs and then a custom and that's it. Most of the time, if you have someone that already declare that, hey, I don't have time to do the marketing. I need someone to help me out. You already know that they want a custom package. When you know they want a custom package, you can offer them a custom package. So you will look at their problem and you can tell them, okay, I can give you a custom package and you can, I can help you with those kind of things. It's that simple. So package is the solution, but keep in mind, do not create too much packages. There was in the past some people that create a lot of packages and I'd be like, yeah, but what if the customer needs special package? Just create two simple package and then say, based on the conversation, I would advise you to take the custom package and it's going to cost you this much. And keep in mind, when you create a package, always took, um, put the hours in it and what you're going to do for them and what's going to cost. And the reason why I tell you two packages because you can make one cheap, one expensive, and one custom. And if you're smart, you're not going to put what they need in the cheapest one. You're going to put the thing that they need in the second one. That just don't make it too expensive. And if they be like, okay, you know what? I want the custom. You're going to create a custom for them. And you're going to tell them everything what they need in the package. And when you do that, you can sell them much easier. So packages is one thing. And the thing is, you can create a plan for people. Let's say you're a social media marketer and uh, you create a plan for them. The plan, it costs you time to create a plan. And you can make, let's say, hey, creating the plan costs this much time, this much hour is going to cost me this much. It's going to cost you as a customer this much. And then you have also the services of managing the social media, react on things or posting things. It's easy. You can just plan everything in. But you have costs because you are planning everything in and most time you are using a tool. You need to ask the customer to pay for the tool. So they pay you to pay for the tool technically. Okay. And they make your time, uh, your, your work much easier if you have the tool and you can use it for a lot of people. Uh, an example of this tool is I think um, Canva is using one of them. You can use the tool so you pay Canva per year and then you... Uh, you use Canva per year and then you let your customer pay for you. It's that easy. And Canva is a good way of promoting things online and managing social media of different customers. So that's an easy thing to do. But keep in mind the cost. You need to put it in the things that you are doing. If you don't do that, you are paying technically for the company. And I, I don't think you want to do that. So keep it, the cost in mind in mind, and keep also the hours that you're wait, uh, working. At the beginning, it's going to cost you a lot of hours to create the things, the design and all those things for the customer. But later, it's going to cost you less hours. So if you're smart, think about it. At the beginning, it's going to cost you a lot of hours and later less. Try to go into a contract for them for three, six months or one year. When you go into that, 
it's easy because you just create what's necessary for them and then you plan it in. It's that simple. But if you just create a contract for one month, not going to help you. I saw some people, they came with proposal and I was like, yeah, don't do that. Because that means you don't understand how the business work and you also don't understand how marketing work. So you can create packages is one thing, but when you go into contract and you need to do a lot of the beginning, try to go on a contract for them for a long period. It can help you a lot. So if you're new out there, if you're new to this channel and you like this kind of advice, subscribe. If you're watching this and you like my videos and you didn't subscribe already, subscribe. I'm waiting. Seriously, I'm waiting. Just subscribe. I hope you guys like this video. See you in the next one.